The United States and South Korea have begun their biggest joint military drills in five years. It comes one day after North Korea test-fired two cruise missiles seemingly in response to the exercises. NBC News foreign correspondent Josh Letterman joins us now from the South Korean capital of Seoul. So, Josh, tell us a little bit about what these drills involve, how long are they expected to last, and why are they taking place now? Well, they're 11 days long with no breaks. They involve things, Ellison, like live artillery fire exercises, amphibious landings, and computerized uh, simulations uh, of defending against an attack from North Korea. Uh, and they're happening now because they have really been scaled back uh, over the last five years or so. First, when uh, former President Trump was pursuing diplomacy with Kim Jong-un and the, North, the South Korean government at the time was very pro-engagement with the North. And then, of course, there was the COVID-19 pandemic. But last year, North Korea uh, fired more missiles than any year before, and the tensions really have been rising uh, here on the Korean Peninsula. That's one reason the U.S. and South Korea are working now to demonstrate their joint ability to defend uh, against a potential North Korean attack. You mentioned that North Korea fired more uh, missile tests last year than they have any other year. What do you make of the missiles that they have most recently fired? What do we know about those tests and has there been any sort of reaction from other nations in the region? So we know that yesterday, just as these exercises were about to kick off, North Korea launched two submarine-based missiles, cruise missiles, uh, from a sub off the coast of North Korea. According to state media uh, in Pyongyang, they flew for about two hours making figure eight uh, circles before eventually uh, reaching their target. South Korea's military uh, has confirmed at least one of those launches. They say they are working closely with the U.S. and with intelligence intelligence agencies both in Seoul and in Washington to figure out exactly what was launched uh, and to make sure that they are ready to defend against that and any other threat. Talk to us a little bit about North Korea and the possibility of nuclear test. What is the likelihood that we could see something like that soon? Yeah, that is really the scenario that this region is bracing for right now. And just last week, uh, the United States in its annual uh, U.S. intelligence community threat assessment said that it's likely that North Korea may be planning uh, what would be a seventh nuclear test. And U.S. intelligence says that North Korea is working at this point to try to get the U.S. to accept it as a de facto member of the international nuclear community. Because remember, North Korea already has nuclear warheads. What they have not yet done is demonstrate the ability to put them onto a weapon that would be carry, capable of carrying them to the United States. But uh, North Korea apparently trying to uh, gain more acceptance as part of that nuclear club, something the U.S. says, of course, that it will not accept, Ellison. Okay. Josh Letterman, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.